With the release of version 1440 of PLS CAD, the vegetation clearance and danger tree features have been augmented to include the ability to identify work sites for remediation. The program creates these work sites by merging vegetation points together into an area of concern which has its position and area documented in the worksite report. There is also the ability to export these areas to KMZ, KML, or shape files for use in other programs. For this example, we have a distribution line that has had vegetation data collected using LiDAR with a drone. The model has been created in PLS CAD using PLS Pole to model the supporting structures. To run the Vegetation Clearance and Danger Tree tool, you can go to Lines, Reports, Danger Tree Locator, where you will be prompted to enter the range of structures you wish to check and how far left and right from the wire you wish to evaluate the line. It will default to all structures in the line. Then you can hit the OK button and you will be taken to the Danger Tree Locator dialog where you can select a rectangular or radial clearance to the vegetation points in the grow in section as well as the allowable clearance for the falling tree check. At the bottom you can select the feature code or codes you wish to use for the vegetation points. For this example we have selected feature code 2222. Next you can decide if you want a report for all the data or markers you want to see in the model after the analysis and you can also choose to enable the worksite feature or change the weather cases you are checking for the clearances. After checking the worksite feature you can select OK which will bring up the worksite dialog box where you can enter the maximum separation between points for those points you wish to be considered part of the same work site, and you can also limit the maximum size of a work site. You can include markers also showing which items were considered. You can create a new XYZ point with, with a specific feature code at the centroid of each work site. For our example, we will pick feature code 2008. The next section has to do with the Z value for the centroid point. You can choose to have a value of 0 assigned for the Z, compute the Z from the 10, or take the Z from the centroid calculation for that particular XYZ point. At the bottom of the dialog, you can choose to create a veg violation 10 and save this 10, which will create a surface of each of these work sites. You can also choose to create a KMZ, KML, or shape file of the results. In order to have the program calculate the area of work sites, you must create the veg violation 10 as noted in the dialog. Once you hit OK, you will be prompted to save the veg violation 10 and also choose what file to export by naming either the KMZ, KML, or shape file. You can select the type of these files at the bottom of the dialog. The program will evaluate the vegetation points in the model and then give you the option to open the KML or KMZ file and generate the selected report. For the worksite centroid report, you will see that each site is listed with its center XYZ location, the closest structure, as well as the area of the site in acres or square feet or square meters. The 3D view will show red and blue markers where the violations occurred, which you can remove by hitting the F5 key. It will also show the centroid points that we chose to create. You can choose to view the files that were created in another program, such as Google Earth. Here is the designated worksite files showing the problem areas in Google Earth for this project. You can click on any of these sites to get the information about each one. You can also augment this type of view in Google Earth by also loading the KMZ export of the PLS CAD project that includes the wires and structures. This allows you to easily share this data with your work management system, GIS program, or even your clearing crews. If you would like to learn more information about our software, you can see our website at www.powline.com. If you would like some information about our software, you can contact us directly at info at powline.com. And finally, if you would like to purchase our software, you can contact our sales team directly at sales at powline.com. We look forward to hearing from you soon.